Depression is a dark and intricate labyrinth that many people navigate at some point in their lives. It is an overwhelming experience that manifests in various ways, affecting not only the mind but also the body and spirit. Healing from depression is not a linear or simple path, it often involves deep self-exploration, as well as the patience and time needed to recover. In this journey of self-discovery, we encounter the complexity of the human mind. Depression is not merely sadness, it is a state where sadness takes root and transforms into something deeper, a shadow that clouds perception and distorts reality. Healing involves facing that darkness, understanding it, and accepting it as part of our experience. Often, depression is intertwined with the past, with unresolved emotional wounds that surface in the present. Healing involves opening long-closed doors, facing internal demons, and allowing oneself to feel the buried pain. It is a painful and challenging process, but necessary to release the weight that the soul has been carrying. Modern society, with its expectations and pressures, often complicates the journey toward healing. The culture of performance, obsession with appearance, and constant comparison with others can fuel depression, turning it into an even more intense internal battle. Healing involves untangling oneself from these external expectations and discovering internal authenticity, freeing oneself from self-imposed chains. Depression also confronts us with the fragility of life and the inevitability of suffering. In this healing process, one must learn to embrace vulnerability and understand that we are neither invulnerable nor perfect. It is in accepting our own humanity that we find the strength to face depression, acknowledging that it is okay to seek help and support. The journey toward healing from depression is not just an individual act, it often requires the support of loved ones, friends, and sometimes mental health professionals. Understanding that we are not alone in this journey can be comforting and empowering. Healing involves learning to connect with others authentically, allowing love and support to flow in both directions. Depression is not just an illness, but an opportunity for personal growth. As we delve into the depths of our own darkness, we find the possibility of rebirth, of rediscovering the light within ourselves. Paradoxically, depression can become a catalyst for profound transformation, leading us to a place of greater understanding, compassion, and authenticity. Healing from depression involves an internal journey, a journey of authenticity and acceptance. It is a process that requires courage to confront the darkness and patience to allow the light to emerge. In this journey, each small step forward is a victory, and each setback is an opportunity to learn and grow. Depression does not define a person, but the healing process can shape them in surprising ways, revealing an inner strength that may never have been discovered otherwise. Throughout this journey, we will delve into a fascinating exploration of knowledge, where I will share with you the 12 most noteworthy tips for addressing the complexity of depression. If this is your first encounter with one of my videos, I warmly invite you to subscribe and show your appreciation with a like. By doing so, you will contribute to YouTube sharing this content with those who, like you, aspire to transform their lives. Number 1. Connect with other people. Connecting with others is a fundamental aspect in the process of healing from depression. Loneliness, while sometimes comforting in its familiarity, can become fertile ground for the growth of depression. In those dark moments, seeking and accepting support from friends, family, or participating in support groups can make a difference. Sharing the deepest and darkest feelings may be terrifying at first, but it is in vulnerability that the strength of human connection lies. Depression tends to close us off, building emotional walls that separate us from others. Breaking down those barriers, even gradually, is a crucial step toward healing. By seeking the support of friends, we find that safe space where our thoughts and emotions are validated. The emotional burden lightens when shared, and loneliness is dissipated by the warmth of understanding and affection. The empathy of those around us not only validates our struggles, but also reminds us that we are not alone in this journey. Family, with its deep bonds and shared history, can provide invaluable support. They often witness our evolution over time and can offer unique and loving perspectives. However, it's also important to recognize that family dynamics can be complicated, and finding the right balance between sharing and setting boundaries can be crucial for maintaining healthy relationships. 
Support groups offer a more structured space to connect with people experiencing similar challenges. In these environments, the stigma associated with depression is broken, and a sense of community is created that can be empowering. The exchange of experiences and strategies for emotional management can provide valuable insights and build a sense of solidarity. Despite the importance of social connection, it's essential to remember that each individual is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. The key is finding the right balance between openness and self-care. Connecting with others can be a beacon of light in the darkest moments, but it's also important to learn to be with oneself in a compassionate and loving manner. The search for social support is not just a complement to the healing process, but an integral part of it. Connecting with others reminds us of our shared humanity and helps us find meaning and purpose amid the darkness. In these connections, we discover that depression, although overwhelming, can be faced and overcome when we share the emotional burden and support each other on the journey to healing. Number 2. Practice Mindfulness The practice of mindfulness reveals itself as a beacon of serenity amid the storm of depression. In the whirlwind of dark thoughts and overwhelming emotions, mindfulness emerges as a powerful tool to reduce stress and cultivate awareness of the present moment. Meditation, with its focus on mindfulness, becomes a mental oasis. In those moments of stillness, where we allow ourselves to simply be, without judgment or clinging to intrusive thoughts, we find a reprieve. The mind, often a battleground in depression, begins to gradually quiet down. The consistent practice of meditation becomes a balm for the soul, allowing connection with a more peaceful and balanced inner space. Conscious breathing becomes a fundamental ally on the journey to healing. Through mindful attention to the breath, we find a simple yet profound tool to anchor ourselves in the present. Each inhalation and exhalation becomes a tangible reminder that we are alive, that every moment is an opportunity to begin anew. In this seemingly simple act, we discover an intimate connection with our body and a temporary escape from the emotional storm. Mindfulness invites us to witness our thoughts and emotions without identifying with them. Instead of being swept away by the tumultuous current of depression, we learn to observe it from the shore. This separation between observation and identification with suffering is liberating. We understand that we are not our thoughts or emotions, we are the consciousness experiencing them. The practice of mindfulness does not aim to eliminate negative thoughts, but to change our relationship with them. We learn to accept them with compassion, and as we observe them with clarity, we diminish their power over us. Mindfulness is not an escape from reality, but a return to the present, where life truly unfolds. In the context of depression, mindfulness becomes a compass guiding us towards self-care. It reminds us of the importance of finding moments of peace amid chaos, of breathing even when emotional suffocation seems imminent. Through this practice, we cultivate the ability to respond to life's challenges rather than reacting impulsively. Mindfulness becomes an internal beacon, illuminating the path to acceptance, authenticity, and healing. In the silence of mindfulness, we find the strength to confront depression with mindful presence, reminding ourselves that even in the darkest moments, there is an inner light that never completely fades away. Number 3. Limit Substance Use The relationship between substance use and depression is complex and multifaceted. In many cases, people turn to alcohol and drugs as a way to cope with the symptoms of depression, seeking temporary relief or escaping from reality. However, this coping mechanism often proves counterproductive, as substance use can worsen symptoms and have negative effects on the treatment of depression. Alcohol and some drugs can act as depressants of the central nervous system, slowing down brain function and exacerbating the feelings of lethargy and hopelessness associated with depression. Additionally, the use of these substances can interfere with the effectiveness of antidepressant medications or other therapeutic approaches used in the treatment of depression. The cycle of dependence that often accompanies substance use can further complicate the management of depression. Instead of addressing the underlying causes of depression, substance use can become a form of evasion, creating an additional barrier to the healing process. Limiting or avoiding substance use thus becomes an essential part of a comprehensive approach to treating depression. 
It is not just about eliminating a habit but creating space to address the deep roots of depression and allow treatments to be more effective. It is crucial to recognize that this process can be challenging. Substance dependence is often linked to emotional and psychological factors, and quitting can generate additional anxiety and stress. In this context, seeking professional and social support becomes crucial. Therapists, support groups, and loved ones can play a significant role in providing the necessary support during this process. Limiting substance use is not only a practical step to improve physical and mental health, but also represents a commitment to oneself on a path of self-care and authenticity. By abstaining from substances that can worsen depression symptoms, space is created for more effective and sustainable approaches to face and overcome this complex illness. It is an act of self-compassion and a significant step toward building a solid foundation for recovery. Before moving on to advice number four, I invite you to leave a good morning comment in the comments. Also, I take this opportunity to tell you that in the description of this video, you will find a list of the top 10 books for healing depression, in case you would like to purchase any. All of them come highly recommended. Number four, take care of your nutrition. The relationship between nutrition and mental health is a powerful link that is often underestimated. Taking care of nutrition becomes a key aspect in addressing depression, as a balanced diet can have a positive impact on mood, energy, and cognitive function. The foods we consume play a vital role in regulating neurotransmitters, the brain chemicals that influence our mood. Opting for a diet rich in essential nutrients provides the necessary building blocks for the production and balance of these neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and dopamine, which play a crucial role in mood regulation. Including a variety of fresh foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats in the diet not only contributes to physical health, but also nourishes mental health. These foods provide vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that can positively influence brain function and emotional well-being. On the other hand, excess sugars and the consumption of highly processed foods can have adverse effects on mood and energy. Peaks and crashes in blood sugar levels can contribute to emotional fluctuations and increase feelings of fatigue. Opting for foods that maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the day can help maintain more consistent energy and avoid the emotional ups and downs associated with an unhealthy diet. The relationship between nutrition and depression also extends to the role of the gut in mental health. The intestinal microbiome, composed of billions of microorganisms, plays a crucial role in communication between the gut and the brain. A balanced and fiber-rich diet can promote a healthy intestinal microbiome, which in turn can have positive effects on mental health. It is important to note that while nutrition plays a significant role, it is not a complete substitute for other therapeutic approaches in the treatment of depression. It is crucial to consider diet as part of a comprehensive approach that also includes emotional support, mindfulness, physical activity, and, in some cases, professional intervention. Number 5. Get Adequate Rest Sleep plays a fundamental role in mental and emotional health. In the context of depression, establishing a regular sleep routine and ensuring an adequate amount of rest becomes a crucial component for recovery and well-being. Quality sleep is not only essential for physical recovery, but also has a significant impact on cognitive function and emotional balance. During sleep, the body undergoes repair processes, and memory consolidation occurs while the brain processes and organizes information from the day. A proper sleep routine contributes to maintaining a more balanced mood and greater ability to cope with stress. In the case of depression, sleep is often affected. There may be difficulties falling asleep, frequent awakenings during the night, or waking up early in the morning without being able to go back to sleep. These irregular sleep patterns can exacerbate depression symptoms, creating a vicious cycle where lack of sleep contributes to increased emotional distress. Establishing a regular sleep routine involves going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This helps regulate the internal biological clock, promoting a more consistent and restorative sleep cycle. Additionally, it's important to create a sleep-friendly environment by keeping the room dark, quiet, and at a comfortable temperature. 
The quality of sleep is also related to daytime practices. Avoiding the consumption of caffeine or stimulating foods before bedtime, limiting exposure to electronic screens before sleep, and engaging in relaxing activities such as reading or meditation can contribute to improving sleep quality. Recognizing the importance of adequate rest is not only a practical aspect in managing depression, but also an act of self-care. Prioritizing sleep involves acknowledging the intrinsic connection between the mind and body and how healthy sleep can strengthen the ability to face emotional challenges. Number 6. Challenge Negative Thoughts Challenging negative thoughts is an essential part of the journey towards recovering from depression. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, also known as CBT, stands out as a valuable approach in this process as it provides tools and specific strategies to identify and question negative thought patterns. Negative thoughts often become automatic patterns deeply rooted in the mind as self-destructive beliefs. These thoughts can distort reality and reinforce a pessimistic perspective. CBT works to challenge these cognitive distortions by fostering increased awareness of thoughts and questioning their validity. The first phase of challenging negative thoughts involves consciously identifying these patterns. Self-observation becomes a powerful tool. By paying attention to automatic thoughts and recording them, the recognition process begins. These thoughts may include self-critical statements, negative generalizations, or pessimistic predictions about the future. Once identified, the next step is to question the validity of these thoughts. Cognitive behavioral therapy offers various techniques for challenging negative thoughts, such as examining the evidence, seeking alternative perspectives, and evaluating the consequences of these thoughts. Asking oneself if there is real evidence to support a negative thought or considering how the situation would look from a more balanced perspective are useful strategies. CBT also focuses on changing dysfunctional thought patterns. This involves replacing negative thoughts with more realistic and positive affirmations. It's not about denying challenges or difficulties, but cultivating a more balanced and constructive perspective. Challenging negative thoughts is not a one-time, definitive process, but a skill that improves with constant practice. Self-compassion and patience are key components in this journey. CBT, when done with the guidance of a trained therapist, provides a safe space to explore and transform these thought patterns. This process does not aim to deny the reality of difficulties, but to change the way they are interpreted and responded to. By challenging negative thoughts, new perspectives are opened, and a foundation for positive change in self-perception and the world is built. The identification and questioning of negative thought patterns are fundamental steps in the treatment of depression. Cognitive behavioral therapy offers valuable tools for this purpose, facilitating a gradual change in the way challenges are perceived and faced, thus contributing to the recovery process. Number 7. Engage in pleasurable activities. Engaging in pleasurable activities becomes a significant component in managing depression. Although it may be challenging to find enjoyment in activities during depressive periods, the act of participating in what we use to enjoy can have a positive impact on mood and contribute to the recovery process. Depression tends to rob pleasure and motivation, making activities that were once enjoyable seem bland or even exhausting. However, making the conscious decision to engage in pleasurable activities represents an act of resistance against depression. These activities don't have to be grand or elaborate, they can be small moments of delight that fit the current emotional state. It could be reading a book, listening to music, taking a quiet walk, engaging in a hobby, or simply enjoying a cup of tea. The goal is not only to find momentary pleasure, but also to create breaks in the cycle of negative thoughts and provide moments of emotional relief. The key is to reconnect with activities that, in the past, brought joy or satisfaction. Remembering how it felt to enjoy these activities can serve as motivation to engage in them again, even if it initially seems difficult or unappealing. Engaging in pleasurable activities can also be seen as a form of self-care. In the midst of depression, taking care of oneself may seem like an overwhelming challenge, but committing to activities that bring pleasure is a tangible step towards self-care. It's a reminder that you deserve to experience moments of happiness and satisfaction, even when depression tries to convince you otherwise. 
Furthermore, sharing these activities with friends or loved ones can provide a sense of connection and emotional support. Even if it initially seems challenging to engage socially, the company of close people can contribute to creating a supportive and understanding environment. Number 8. Establish a daily routine. Establishing a daily routine becomes a fundamental pillar in managing depression. Daily structure can offer a sense of normalcy and stability at a time when depression tends to blur the boundaries between days and make organizing daily life challenging. Depression is often associated with a loss of interest and motivation, leading to a lack of structure in daily life. Setting regular schedules for basic activities such as eating, sleeping, and carrying out other daily tasks can be a crucial step in regaining a sense of order and purpose. Regular eating, for example, not only contributes to physical health, but can also have a positive impact on mood and energy. Planning regular and nutritious meals establishes a rhythm for the day and helps maintain more stable blood glucose levels. Similarly, maintaining a regular sleep routine is essential for managing depression. Establishing consistent bedtime and wake-up times contributes to regulating the internal biological clock, promoting more restful sleep and helping combat the fatigue and lack of energy associated with depression. The daily routine can also include specific times for pleasurable activities, exercise, and moments of rest. By planning these activities as part of the daily routine, there is a conscious commitment to self-care, creating space to experience moments of enjoyment and relaxation. Furthermore, the routine can act as a self-management tool. Knowing what to expect in terms of daily activities can help reduce anxiety associated with uncertainty. The structure provided by a routine can be comforting and serve as a reminder that even in the midst of depression, concrete steps can be taken to improve well-being. It's important to note that the routine doesn't have to be inflexible or overwhelming. They can be small steps and gradual adjustments to accommodate individual needs and capabilities. The key is to establish a structure that provides a balance between self-care and daily responsibilities. Establishing a daily routine is a valuable strategy in managing depression. It provides a framework for daily life, promoting stability, and offering a solid foundation for other therapeutic interventions. Through consistency and commitment to a routine, significant contributions can be made to the recovery process and emotional well-being. Number 9. Exercise regularly. Engaging in regular exercise emerges as a powerful tool in managing depression. Physical activity not only has positive impacts on overall health, but can also significantly improve mood and contribute to emotional well-being. The connection between exercise and mood improvement is linked to the release of endorphins, neurotransmitters that act as natural painkillers and mood enhancers. These endorphins not only reduce the perception of pain, but also have positive effects on mood, helping alleviate the stress and anxiety associated with depression. Even practicing moderate exercises, such as daily walks, can have significant benefits. Consistency is key, establishing an exercise routine allows the body and mind to consistently benefit from its positive effects. Daily walks, for example, not only provide physical activity, but also offer the opportunity to connect with nature, clear the mind, and enjoy a change of scenery. Exercise also contributes to improving the quality of sleep, another crucial aspect in managing depression. Restful sleep, facilitated by regular physical activity, can help combat fatigue and provide greater energy to face daily challenges. In addition to physical benefits, regular exercise can also act as an antidote to the lack of motivation and apathy associated with depression. Setting achievable and gradual exercise goals tailored to individual capabilities can be a first step toward reintegrating physical activity into daily life. Socialization can also be an important component when choosing physical activities. Participating in exercise classes, joining a sports group, or simply sharing walks with friends can add a social element that contributes to emotional well-being. It's important to note that before starting any exercise program, especially for individuals with pre-existing medical conditions, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure that the plan is safe and appropriate. Engaging in regular exercise presents itself as a fundamental pillar in managing depression. 
From simple walks to more intense routines, physical activity offers a pathway to improve mood, increase energy, and contribute to the emotional recovery process. Number 10. Set Realistic Goals Setting realistic goals becomes a fundamental strategy in managing depression. Depression often makes everyday tasks seem overwhelming, but breaking them down into small, achievable steps can make a significant difference in perception and actual accomplishment. The key is to break down large tasks into manageable steps. Setting small, specific goals not only makes tasks less intimidating, but also provides a clear structure for progress. This helps counteract the feeling of paralysis that often accompanies depression, allowing individuals to steadily move towards their objectives. It's important that these goals be realistic and tailored to individual capacities and circumstances. The idea is not to pressure oneself too much or set unrealistic expectations, but to create a series of steps that are achievable and fit within the available limitations and resources. Celebrating achievements, even the smallest ones, becomes an essential component of this process. Depression often clouds the perception of successes, making them seem less significant than they really are. Recognizing and celebrating each step forward, no matter how small, contributes to building a sense of accomplishment and increases motivation to continue. Celebration doesn't have to be extravagant, it can be as simple as taking a moment to reflect on progress, jotting down achievements in a journal, or sharing them with a trusted person. These moments of acknowledgement not only reinforce self-esteem, but also act as tangible reminders of the progress made. Setting realistic goals also relates to self-care. Recognizing one's limitations and learning to respect them is a crucial part of the recovery process. Instead of punishing oneself for what hasn't been achieved, it's about acknowledging efforts made and finding ways to learn and grow from each experience. Setting realistic goals and breaking tasks into small, achievable steps is a valuable strategy in managing depression. It helps overcome the feeling of overwhelm, fosters a sense of accomplishment, and provides a clear framework for progress. Celebrating achievements, no matter how small, adds a positive component to the process, strengthening resilience and focus on the path to recovery. Number 11. Seek professional help. Seeking professional help is a crucial and courageous step in the process of managing depression. The assistance of mental health professionals, such as psychologists, psychiatrists, or therapists, can provide specialized support and specific tools to address the challenges associated with depression. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, stands out as an effective approach for depression. This therapy focuses on identifying and changing negative thought patterns, as well as developing skills to cope more effectively with emotional challenges. CBT provides practical strategies to challenge negative thoughts, change dysfunctional behaviors, and improve stress management. In some cases, pharmacological treatment may be recommended by a psychiatrist. Antidepressant medications can help balance neurotransmitters in the brain and improve symptoms of depression. It's important to note that the decision to use medication should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional, and the benefits and risks should be carefully evaluated. Often, the combination of cognitive behavioral therapy and medication can be the most effective strategy for treating depression. This is known as a multimodal approach and addresses both the cognitive and biological aspects of the illness. Seeking professional help not only involves receiving treatment, but also building a safe space to explore and understand the underlying causes of depression. Mental health professionals can help identify dysfunctional thought patterns, explore past experiences, and provide tools to cope with the present. It is crucial to emphasize that seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but an act of self-care and strength. By working with mental health professionals, a collaboration is established that can guide the recovery process and provide the necessary support on the journey to emotional well-being. Seeking professional help is a significant and necessary step in managing depression. It provides access to specific interventions tailored to individual needs, offering a clearer path to recovery and the construction of a healthier and more meaningful life. Number 12. Acceptance and Patience Acceptance and patience are fundamental components in the journey of recovering from depression. 
Recognizing and embracing the reality that recovery takes time is essential for building a solid foundation for emotional well-being. Depression often generates a sense of urgency and frustration, as individuals crave quick improvement. However, learning to be kind to oneself and accepting that there will be ups and downs along the way is a key aspect of cultivating the necessary patience in the recovery process. Recovery does not follow a linear path, and there may be moments of progress followed by setbacks. Patience becomes crucial in those challenging times. Understanding that depression is a complex condition and that recovery involves gradual advancements helps reduce self-criticism and hopelessness. Acceptance involves embracing the present moment with compassion, recognizing that it's okay to feel vulnerable and that asking for help is not a sign of weakness. Accepting emotions, even difficult ones, is a step toward understanding and self-care. Celebrate progress, no matter how small. Acknowledging and valuing each step forward contributes to strengthening self-esteem and fostering a sense of accomplishment. These advancements can be as simple as completing a daily task, going for a walk, or achieving a small personal goal. Celebrating these achievements not only boosts motivation, but also counteracts the tendency to minimize one's own efforts. Patience and acceptance do not mean resignation. Instead, they represent an active stance toward recovery. It's about being aware of one's limitations, learning to adapt to changing circumstances, and maintaining hope even in the most challenging moments. In addition to professional help and specific strategies, acceptance and patience are internal tools that can guide you through the challenges of depression. Finding ways to practice mindfulness, self-care, and self-compassion can be part of this process. Acceptance and patience are crucial in managing depression. By adopting these attitudes toward oneself and the recovery process, a more compassionate and realistic path to emotional well-being is constructed. And so concludes our journey towards healing and emotional well-being. I hope these 12 tips have resonated with you and provided valuable tools to face depression. Remember, the path to recovery may be challenging, but you are never alone. The strength to overcome these difficult moments lies within you. Always seek support when you need it, and remember that your well-being is a priority. Depression may be a battle, but with patience, self-love, and continuous effort, you can overcome any obstacle. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and healing. Until next time, may each step bring you a little closer to the light.